Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to build the toothy base and I'm going to discuss materials used to build it and do a demonstration with some zombies to see how the base stands up using two different builds, one with scrap iron and one with cobblestone. So first of all, let's look at materials. So just one that's made of plain wood. Okay, this first layer has 200 health. You take that off, you have another layer that has 200 health. And then the final frame layer has 100 health. That's a total of 500. Before it's destroyed and the zombies get in. Um, this one, when it's upgraded with the metal, the first layer has 1,000 health. This is upgrading all the way, of course. And the second layer has 1,000 health. And the third layer has 100 health, so a total of 2,000 100. Flagstone is made from cobblestone rocks. You can make the cobblestone rocks from clay and stone. Um, so you would just type in um, cobble or rocks and you see this and you can it's one clay and one stone. You craft a bunch of those and then you can make flagstone and you have all these different shapes and whatnot and it's made one block is made from three cobblestone rocks so let's look at the flagstone that has a health of 500 but it has no layers so the total health is 500 which makes it equivalent to wood it's the same as wood reinforced wood Next, you can upgrade the flagstone to cobblestone. This is a cobblestone block, so if you upgrade it, um, all you need is more cobblestone rocks in your inventory and an upgrade tool. And uh, let me demonstrate that. I'll put the flagstone back down. You just aim with your tool and you upgrade it with the cobblestone so it becomes cobblestone. You upgrade it with cobblestone rock so it becomes cobblestone. Wood is upgraded with wood for this one. This one you upgrade it with wood and then you have to have scrap iron in your inventory and you can do multiple layers of scrap iron to get to this layer. So let's get back to the cobblestone. The cobblestone has 1500 health. Flagstone, remember, had 500. Once you upgrade it to cobblestone, it has 1,500. Once they go through that, it's all gone. There's no layers. So 1,500 total. If you do not have access to much iron, you want to go with this cobblestone. If you have plenty of iron, maybe you have an iron mine or whatever, this is going to give you more protection even though because it's got the layers it's going to give you 2,100 health before they break through it so I built one of these out of the scrap iron and I'm going to show you see it started as wood and then I just upgrade it like this and I'm going to get into showing you how to make this in a moment. Right now I'm just going to upgrade this so you can see this started out as wood and I just upgrade it with scrap iron. It takes scrap iron for each upgrade. You know, you can, this is wood, upgrade then scrap and then more scrap and then more scrap. So there's three layers of scrap iron on here. So now it's all scrap iron. 
Now, let's move down here where I have partially constructed one of flagstone, and I'm going to show you how to make this base now. You're going to start with the wedge tip. Now, you can make this out of wood, you can make this out of flagstone. Whatever materials you have available, just type in, uh, well, you can type in tip, flagstone wedge tip. This is wood wedge tip. That's this part down here at the bottom. That's the part you want to lay out first. That's going to determine the boundaries of your build. So now on the corners, you don't want to have one here on the corner. Okay, you want to leave that open. So the next thing that you need to make, there's two sorts of poles. Let's type in pole in the search. And you got flagstone pole. And you get flagstone pole centered. Alright, and if you're building with wood, you got wood pole and wood wood pole centered. You got two poles. One is regular and one is centered. Now if you're, this is for Alpha 16, so if you are not in Alpha 16, I don't think you have the centered one. I think Alpha 15 you only have this one. But this, the centered one will be, is like merged with this one prior to Alpha 16. Alpha 16 they separated one, so this one has its own thing. So let's start with, not the centered, but with the pole. Okay, I'll put that down here. Now that is uh, what's used for this cross beam. And it's used for the corner poles, which I'll show you this corner pole here. Right? So what you do is, once you have your wedges, your wedge tips, Lay out. You want to come to the corner with your pole, and you want to rotate it so that it looks like this. So it's occupying that corner block, but it's going right flush up against your wedges. And then you place it down. You see, even though this looks like it's only this small little pole, it actually takes up an entire block. You want to make this four blocks high so that's four you got one two three four okay so you want to put all your wedges down and you want to put all your poles in the corners you want this to be flush up against the wedge so it looks like that then um, you want to use the same pole and you want to target this pole and you want to this corner pole and you want to rotate this guy it helps if you hold down R and select advanced otherwise you can just be going around in circles all day long <laughs> okay it finally got into the advanced options okay you want to rotate so it looks like this. You want it at the bottom of the cube, and you want it flush with your corner post. So it looks like this. You see that? Okay, and then you place that. Now see, even though uh, it looks like this tiny thing, it's actually an entire block. And just like the wedge tip underneath, that's an entire block. So those are actually stacked right on top of each other. So you lay these across like this. So that you have this horizontal pole. Now this one, you're going to do the same thing, but you're just going to rotate it. There we go. So you want it to look like this. You want it to be at the bottom of the block. You want it flush with your vertical corner post. Place that. And you want to place it all the way across to your other corner post. 
So even though it looks like it's floating, it's actually resting on top of the wedge. So it's very sturdy. It's not going to collapse. Uh, you know, unless someone digs under. You know, that would be something major. But all right. So now we're done with the flagstone pole. Let's get the flagstone pole centered. These bits are the flagstone pole centered. And you're going to place these, you're going to target your corner post and place it. So you can't place it down here. You're going to place it here. Even though it looks like it's floating, it's actually being supported by this one. Because this is a block and this is a block. And the appearance that it's floating is just an illusion. The reality is that it's not. It's not floating. And for this direction, we're going to target the corner post and lay that down. You can't lay one down here. It won't go. It won't fit because this is occupying the full block. Okay? And so then you lay these across. Now, the roofs are optional, but I recommend having a roof because of buzzards and rain. That's right. So, um, you can place your roof first, but you have to be weir um, leery of um, collapses. You don't want to collapse the roof. You have to make sure it's supported. So, this is supported by this. It's the middle part that you don't know if, if it's going to be supported, but it depends on the size of your base. I mean, flagstone has a high load, has a mass of 10, and a max load of 120. So if I do my math right, 10 into 120 is 12, right? So that means one lock can support Wait, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. So you place all the tubes. Now, the way that this stuff works, right, is, let's say you got some dogs or wolves or crawlers, they're going to come up to this area and they're going to try to go through, but they're not. Their head's going to hit on this one because this is the second block high. So they can't go through there. Um, also, spider zombies would come up here and they wouldn't be able to jump because of the teeth now but you you can go between the teeth and you can just jump over there and so you might be thinking well why can't the other zombies just jump over well they can't for whatever reason they can't this they perceive this as a full block and they can't go through that gap zombies always aim for the middle of a block so that's why I'm I'm thinking they probably can't jump over. Um, when they hit something, they always aim for the middle of the block and not the sides of the block. Because I guess the AI would become too complicated if it took into account different parts of a block. So it just aims for the center of the block. So the zombies come up and to them, they can't jump up because this is the center of this block is further out from anyways. They can't. They come up and they just try to go, but they can't unless they actually physically break through. And the spiders can't climb up. And so it's very effective. The roof, of course, 
keeps the vultures from eating your face, poking your eyes out, and eating your brains. Which they, I hear, I hear vultures really love to eat eyeballs and brains. So they go in through the eye, they eat the eyes out, and then they go for the brains. Brains the dessert, you see. So, yeah, this is pretty safe. Of course, they can break through, and you have to remember, this fox only has 500 health, so once you have everything in place, you want to upgrade it with the cobblestone rock so that it has the full 1500 health. But you can build this out of the concrete, you know, you can upgrade this with concrete mix later on down the line. For early game, you're not going to have the concrete mix. You need a perk for that, you need um, a cement mixer. Okay, so let's test this. Now we got the scariness going on. Oh look, we are we got a volunteer already. Okay, so he's see the they're, they're they're trying to get in, they can't seem to do it, and so you can uh, actually hit them like this. And they can hit you too, so you have to be careful. But they can't overwhelm you, you know. And then you can uh, loot them, which is one good good uh, feature. Oh, look, it's the big mama. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get too close to her. down there and loot. If they die close to the walls, then you can loot them, which is another good feature of this. Alright, you gotta, gotta, you gotta keep, keep all the walls in mind. Stop banging on my walls. the nursing yeah 
See, I got AIDS and I got stunned because... You know... I was being up there too close. You know, I could use a bow or a gun. Oh, there, I got stunned again. Let me use a bow on this guy. First aid kit. So this is basically my seventh day of horror because I changed it the day so this is gives you a good example of how well the base stands up you know, I'm not gonna lose these things anymore my inventory is full it doesn't really matter this is not my regular game this is just a tutorial game I'm just in the habit of looting stuff. And you see, it has become a bit damaged. And uh, it looks like I need to do some repairs. So you will have to repair it from time to time. Because they will hit on it. So you've got to... Uh, yeah, keep your eye on that. Let me check, see if anything else needs repairing. Alright, let's repair. Gotta repair the teeth. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Ah. I love this compound bow. Uh, awesome. Check for. Doesn't look like this horizontal bar has taken much damage at all. Okay, that one took a little damage. It looks like the teeth are the ones taking most of the damage. There's some teeth that need some repairs. So make sure that you have some cobblestone or scrap or whatever material you use but you have some available <laughs> Took her head off. Alright. Do some repairs between the waves. Okay, that took some damage.
Alright, so you've seen how... And that's pretty much... I don't think I'm going to have much in the way of, of horde anymore. So this is the flagstone slash cobblestone version. Now let's run over to this version and test it. And she broke it because I wasn't over here killing her, her or doing repairs. So let me repair it real quick. That word's not over, huh? Alright, I'm going to set the time back so that we have more horde. To test this one. Okay. Now the horde's coming in. So this is the one that's made of the scrap iron. So it has multiple layers. So it won't be completely destroyed when they break through it, it will downgrade three times. So if it turns to a different color, texture, whatever, we know that it needs to be repaired because it's been downgraded. Gotta keep some scrap iron on hand. Come on, zombies. Oh, here comes the big mama. So I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And, uh... Oh, get away from there, big mama. Let me repair this. Taking quite a bit of damage here. Okay. Uh, so yeah, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I do Let's Plays, The Seven Days to Die. I do live streams, The Seven Days to Die. I do Let's Plays of other games. And sometimes even live streams of other games, but mostly live streams of Seven Days to Die and Let's Plays of Seven Days to Die. Because I love this game. Yeah, it rocks! I have over 3,000 hours played in the game. I've been playing it for like three years. I'm gonna do some repairs here. Take out this big guy. Hey, you guys stop hitting on my base. Right now. Okay, took out the big mama. Because I think she does more damage than some of these others. And that's why I want to take them out first because they'll do more damage to the base. But this guy does more damage because it's a general rule of thumb if the zombie is big they do more damage the bigger they are I seem to be missing a lot Okay, see, see, this one has downgraded to the the next level. 
lower level. There. So that one is in, you know, risk of being destroyed. Leave it alone, big mama. So I think that I should repair it. Repair all these. out big mama stop hitting my base big mama seriously stop hitting my base it helps if I aim at their head and not their over their shoulder How many twin sisters do you have? <laughs> uh, I took her head off. I'm taking off some layers. Ah. do some repairs here. cheerleader die like how can I miss see I get frustrated sometimes with the bow I'm gonna just club him club is my preferred weapon me club stuff instead of just using the bow all the time. But I don't get killed or overrun or stunned much. They can't overrun you as long as the, the walls hold. Apparently I'm overheating. So as you can see, both bills withstood a horde, so at least the seventh day horde. Now, it wouldn't withstand some of the larger hordes that have already zombies and exploding cops and uh, ferals and all that stuff. But, you know, your day seven horde, yeah. You can loot them, you can club them, you can shoot them with the bow. All in all, it's pretty cool. Just be ready to do some repairs if they do a bunch of damage so that they don't break through. So don't forget to mash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Oh, is that a spider? He's stuck on those blocks over there. So like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later.
Thanks for watching guys and as always don't forget to hit that thumbs up button it helps my channel grow and subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you like my videos and you like my channels then head on over to patreon.com slash deandra and pledge one dollar or more a month to support me in making videos. Thanks. Bye.